Hey everybody, update time again, and today I put together the hydrogen, uh, sorry, the slot design hydrogen gas gun or gas processor. So I wanted to start off with this picture. You saw this in one of my previous videos. Um, I made a change to this connector right here on all of the um, LED strips. I. I'm going to have those round nylon uh, pieces right here, so that's in the way. <laughs> so I'll show you what I did. You've seen this picture before, that's just looking down the pipe with the lights turned on. So here's what I ended up doing. I basically just took it off the front and put it on the back, faced it the other direction, and now that connector is facing this direction. And see these nylon uh, circles are butted up right against the edge of this um, LED strip. So I didn't have any room at all. I just used a wire tie on each end to keep these stuck in place. And that wire hangs down there. Just like that. And here I made a slight change in the plan. I'm going to leave one slot open so that we can view in there nice and easy and uh, see if we get a corona field with the different types of gases we're putting in. And what that will do is tell us that we're stripping electrons off of the gas, which is a very <laughs> key element in this whole process. So I was worried that I would not know if I was stripping electrons off of the helium or argon or neon, whatever we put through here. So I made this design into a combination functional and testing um, gas processor. So we can just look in there and see what we're doing. So I clipped those wires, connected them up, and then uh, taped them and then drilled one access hole and uh, made it a little easier on myself this time. I left this wire nice and long, gave it a little 90 degree bend and uh, stuck it through that hole before I stuck um, the whole processor inside there. Much easier, just took a couple seconds. And that's it for that. So, here it is. You may notice it looks a lot, well, I don't know, a little different than the other one. Um, here's my connector. I don't have any way of pulsating it yet, but I don't really plan to. I think that a steady stream is going to be best. All right. So here you can see that open port, and the light is just flooding out of there. Um, Maybe you can see in there. So there's blue, there's green, and there's the red. All right, let's shut this bright light off. All right, so most of it's the same. I have these pipes on here, and I wasn't really able to explain what I wanted to do in my last video with these pipes because the other design has electron extraction grids. This one doesn't. Um, this is where they would go and where they may end up going. I left myself a big space here for these bad boys if we end up deciding that they are best. But for this design, what I want to do is have this after the uh, plasma arc chamber or arc reactor, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to be having the whole thing gravity fed and so I'll have the gas, what do you call it, the uh, arc reactor up here. Those uh, metal particles are just going to flow straight through here. That's why I wanted that large opening and they're not going to get caught on the electron extraction grid. 
my electron extraction grids are way too fine. Um, I told you in the one of the previous videos there are 400 mesh in between those aerators, and I'm I'm just worried that they would end up building up and clogging the electron extraction grids. So this is what I did. Um, also, these rivets are new. I didn't have those in the last one. And I put those in to keep this last section nice and tight if I end up um, removing this pipe. I don't want to lose my seal here removing that pipe just to install electron extraction grids. So that's what I did for that. And I went ahead and made it even. I put them on both sides just in case I ever want to change that. So check it out. That's what's going on. Um, and this will be the last of the hydrogen gas guns. Um, now I'm going to start working on the magnetizing chamber. And let me bring up a little something for you to look at. I'm going to be designing those similar to the strongest magnet, the strongest DC magnet in the world. There are um, electromagnet tubes inside electromagnetic tubes. And I think that's what I want to do. And what they do here is um, they have very thin layers wrapped around the, the uh, metal pipe and it forms a spiral of uh, they're using fiberglass and copper um, every other one is copper and then vice versa and it just creates a spiral so I'm going to use probably aluminum foil and transparencies <laughs> and cut me some little donut shapes and create a spiral and we'll see how that works out but that's the plan it's always subject to change all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and leave your comments, and have a great evening. Take care.